Bum, 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 bum. Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with the next part of Who Are the Salamanders. This is... Oh, Aboard the Grim Scythe. So let's get into it. Vulcan Hastan's path has led him from a world in the midst of the zombie plague, through the Black Nebula, and finally to the Space Hulk codenamed Grim Scythe. Hastan had needed help in tracking the derelict Space Hulk, for it had a disturbing habit of sliding into the warp, only to reappear hundreds or thousands of light years away. Answering his call for aid came from Vulcan's Wrath, a Salamander's strike cruiser. Aboard was half of the Salamander's third company and a supporting squad of Terminators. Enough troops to risk boarding the drifting Space Hulk. Led by Histan, it was not long before a single boarding torpedo smashed through the hull. Although now aboard, they were trapped in the twisted wreckage, hunks of metal and bulkhead wrapping around the reinforced tube. With a hiss and flare, the multi-melta ate through beams and bulkheads alike, opening a vent into the darkness beyond. Waiting only long enough for the melted metal to solidify, Vulcan Hastan was the first through. The Terminators behind were revving their chain fists, ready to enlarge the gap so that their massive frames could fit through. Although he and the space marines that followed him could see in the dark with their auto senses, it was out of habit that Hastan led the way with the glowing blade of the Spear of Vulcan. The only sound was their ceramite boots echoing on the grating decking. Before long, the boarding party had broken into a long corridor, stretching into the darkness. They advanced cautiously, for there were signs that the Space Hulk was not empty. For one, so much warp contamination, for one, so much warp contamination clung about the vessel that the Auspix gave no readings, showing only a single pulsing heartbeat as if the Hulk itself was alive. Hastan had seen too much to believe that this was happenstance or coincidence. A thick, viscous substance dripped down the walls, and disturbing gurgles of sludge-like liquid could be heard moving in the network of pipes that ran along the hall's ceiling. Hastan recalled the horrors of the zombie plague, and he warned his companions of his fears. Plague marines, or at least renegades in the service of the foul lord of decay. Hastan was searching for the Chthonic Hammer, a mining ship that had been lost in the warp at about the time of Vulcan's disappearance. He had reason to believe the Primarch had spent time aboard that ship, perhaps even aiding in its search for rare metals. After much tracking, the Forge Father had reason to believe that ship had formed part of the conglomerate of hulls that made up the enormous Space Hulk. What else he might find, Histan did not rightly know. But the profusion of pestilent molds and growing on the walls gave him strong indications. He halted before a heavily sealed blast door. Using hand-only singles, he set the squads in the fire-breather formation, a tactical deployment that led with a heavy flamer and kept strong fire support to the front and rear. At his signal, the Terminators stepped forward, chain fists, sending up sparks as they cut into the solid ceramite. It was, 
thought Stan, the perfect place for an ambush. Soon, the ancient ship was filled with the sound of bolter fire and the sibilant hissing of heavy flamers. The battle of the grim scythe had begun. Ha 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 ha! Yes, it ends there! And then it, with a quote, We are born of fire, but we shall not die of it. Instead, we will emerge, reborn. Vulcan Histan, before leading the third company through the volcanic plains during the Flame Wars. There you go. That is their full telling of that. Now, what is left, you're saying? What is in the second part? I'll give you a second part. How about the rules for Vulcan Histan? Or at least the stats for him. So, Vulcan Histan, if he was to appear in your game, uh, would have a weapon skill 6, ballistic skill 5, strength 3. Four, toughness four, wounds three, initiative five, three attacks, ten leadership, and a saving throw of two plus. He would be considered an infantry character. His war gear would be artificer armor, bolt pistol, frag grenades, and crack grenades. Artificial armor confers the two plus save. There you go. What else would he get? Well, let's see, other than the bolt pistol, but um bum 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 Hold on. Let's get to the fun part. Just aha! Special rules. That's what people want to know. The Forge Father. If Histan is your warlord. Ah, this is something all all Salamander players would like, yes. If Vulcan Histan is chosen as your warlord, all Meltaguns, Combi Meltas, and Multi Meltas wielded by models in his detachment have the master crafted special rule. How's that? They get the Ch Salamander chapter tactic tactics, but all of that would be in the. So yeah, that's what he would do. If you take Vulcan Histan, that was his. That was his. Oh, we've got the gauntlets. Okay, next, I will actually talk about more of the artifacts themselves. Until then, have fun. Bye.